It's Friday night. Yay, it's the weekend. Cheers. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew mm -hmm. Friday edition. Yes. Tanya with us yes, today. Yes, hello. After a long absence. It um, feels like a really long time since well, I've been on, but it, it has I, been, I, we've like been weeks. away and other people yeah. have been on, so it yeah. just feels like it's been a long time. Yeah, we were away in Mexico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Winning awards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots mm -hmm. of fun. But we're back. Yeah. And it's time for some games playing on the 2600. We play new games on classic consoles. And tonight we're going to go for a high score because it's the end of the month. Nice. And it's the homebrew tournament, round six. Okay. Oh, there's Pixel okay. walking across the floor. I don't know if you caught him on the, the webcam. Um, so, yeah, it's um, round number six. We've mm -hmm. participated in every round, at least I have. Um, you've I've, participated I've, in quite a few of them. Yeah, been involved in a few. So you are on the board, yes. as well as I am, and I'm currently in fourth place. Oh, good but, job. So let's see if we can maintain that at least. Fourth place? Yeah. Okay. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that. We'll be playing Juno first. Hello, everybody in the chat. Hi. There's Arena Foot with is, is with us tonight. Which Hi, nice. Arena Foot. And we've got Pixel here. Yeah. Giving and me giving me cat hate eyes right yeah, now because I'm holding on to it. <laughs> it's Hi. like no. Hi, cat don't. hate eyes. Uh, we've yeah. got a Azure six five oh two, which he uh, yes. matches my my shirt here. Oh, six five oh two. Nice. Uh Mr. Fix, who uh, is having a little trouble seeing, unfortunately, so yeah. he's not gonna be typing too much. He's just gonna rest up a little bit, a yeah. little bit. Well, hopefully he can listen at least. Yeah, he said yeah. he's gonna listen. Um, got Ice Bosta, Muddy Funster, Wade Rain. Rain. Uh, is there any more names that have been uh, typing? So far. So, so far, far. So far. Yeah. Uh, eating the worm and the tequila. There wasn't any worm. Is that a I North? Am is that like a, a U.S. No, it's a, thing? It's a thing, but um, we certainly had our share of tequila, but I don't remember any worms. So. Not even uh, a mention of worms, actually. <laughs> no, but we did. We did actually go to the town of tequila. Yes, to actually tequila, which and I didn't know that was a town. And went to a distillery town. and had drank a bunch of tequila at about 11 in the morning. Or I did. You're yeah. not a tequila drinker. No. Um, but it was really cool. We got to see how the whole process of how it's made. And and it was some of the best and... tequila, right? It was really good. Yeah, because, it was really nice. you know, it's the stuff made in tequila. Yeah. It's like champagne. If it's not made in tequila, is it tequila? I'm not sure. I'm sure. Is there rules around that? I don't know. I don't know how that works. But all the big names were there. Like if you know Big tequila name names, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. It was very cool. Yeah. yeah it you got was to go trip. underground. Oh look yeah. Look at the big barrels mm -hmm. of tequila. Mm -hmm. And look at the As tequila pineapples, which are I didn't know how it was made or what the plant. What they looked at, looked yeah. like, yeah. It's the agave pineapple that actually is under the under the ground. Yeah. As a, as opposed to the pineapples, which aren't in trees, <laughs> normal pineapples, they're on the ground. Everybody thinks pineapples are from trees. But they're, they they sit on the ground. Well, they're I don't know strange. about real pineapples. They're probably yeah. similar to the agave pineapples. Yeah, but but I know above, I know very little about that. They're above the earth, and the agave ones well, are below the earth. Well, they're sort of half above and half below. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. They're like... Kind of in the ground. Yeah, yeah they're kind of like roots, I guess. Yeah, 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 I guess so, yeah. Yeah, anyway, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, we enjoyed our trip a lot. Mexico is a great place to visit, and um, yeah, it was nice we to be to... in the real Mexico, not... Not that, you know, Cancun and places like that aren't real Mexico, but to actually be in yeah. a city You're feels a more, um, less touristy and actually be walking around. And yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, there were no other lot. people with this color hair or this color skin <laughs> where we were. For the most part. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, our Spanish is horrible. So uh, yeah, that's something we're going to have to work on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next time we, we plan go. to go back to Mexico, yeah. which I, but I expect it. we will yeah. many times. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I want to thank the Twitch time. subscribers, uh, A Tasty Sandwich, Charles and Check, Ground Trooper, I Supposed to Jeffrey2123, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K, who most of those people usually join us in, in the chat every week, which is nice. That's what uh, they're up to. So, yeah. And yeah. if you want to support the show, you can subscribe for free. Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. If you do that, mm -hmm. um, so uh, Dianoid uh, posted yesterday. He mm. is the the programmer of Amoeba Jump, mm. um, but he's working on a new game now. Nice. And uh, he posted the video of his game in progress that he's done so far. Mm. We're going to look at that in a second. 
Um, he posted yesterday uh, in on the Facebook, on Facebook somewhere, on one of the forums, on the groups, Atari 2600 Homebrew Group. Uh, I, as I was excited to see John Shampoo's amazing teaser screenshot of Zookeeper, I decided to show a little teaser video of TOR 2600, which stands for Tower of Rubble 2600, mm. which is my work in progress 2600 port of Tower of Rubble, original by Flatgov. It's still in an early stage, but it's a nice uh, game to work on while my first game, Amoeba Jump, is making its way toward the Atari Age store. So that will be coming out soon. He's finished it. Mm. So I expect it to be coming out the next batch, because mm. usually our releases the games in big batches. So a, like a, number, a bunch at once. Kind of releases a bunch at a time. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Uh, and he says, and thanks to James O'Brien for drawing my attention to this Tower of Rubble game. Because nice. I saw the game. Mm. Uh, it's originally a PC game, and it was also ported to the Commodore 64 as well. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it and went, oh my god, this is perfect for the Atari. For mm. porting over. Like, everything would fit within the boundaries of the 2600. So I'm going to show everybody uh, the video of the original game that I saw. Okay. Uh, actually, I saw the C64, but it is very, very similar um, to the PC version of the game. So let's take a look at uh, what the video of the original game looks like. Let me just get it up on the screen. One second. Here we go. I'll just switch over to that. So here is the original game. Uh, and it's like got EGA graphics, you know, those old school yeah. four color graphics, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to go into the game. Here we go. So you're that little guy at the bottom and you're trying to avoid these blocks from rapidly dropping down from the from the sky and you can avoid them by climbing up over on top of other ones that have dropped down. But you have to kind of plan what you're going to do because I think you can only climb up one at a time. You oh, see that see. one in the middle. Now we can climb up it, but now yeah. we can't. You can't get back down though. Um, you can climb down. Oh, yeah, you can okay. climb down. So you better move out of the way there. Yeah. See. Um, and now they call it, they fall more and more and more. And now there's open water that you have to watch out for uh, as well. So you have to move up as the water level goes up. Um, I, I haven't seen the water level go up, but I think it like it destroys. Or maybe it does mm. go up. It's hard to tell. But anyway, I, I looked at this and I thought, well, this is, mm -hmm. this is perfect for the Atari. It's all in blocks. Mm -hmm. And there's just vertical stripes, which are very, very easy <laughs> for the um, 2600 to do. And, you know, the ground shaking you can do as well. You just move everything up a little bit. Yeah. And the little guy is just a, a sprite, and you can use another uh, player character, and you can use another player character for maybe the little animation as the blocks drop down. Oh, that's very so cool. So <laughs> completely doable. Yeah. And, and simple, the water, too. Very, very simple. Yeah. Not complex. And the score at the top. So mm -hmm. totally doable. So let's uh, take a look at what Dianoid has done so far now. Let me bring up my notes again. So this is uh, the first look that he's ever given the world. So let's see what I can do here. Making this full screen. Hello. Hi Atari. Hi Atari. Okay. There we go. Let me switch over to that. So there's no sound. I mean, there's no sound anyway. I'm not going to put on sound. But there's no sound. So he's got the water going. Mm. Uh, he's got the blocks. They're yeah. not dropping. The yet. little dude is looking pretty good. The animation on the little guy is amazing. Yeah, he's looking really good. And uh, I'll just start, start that again. Okay. Oh, um, so I'm guessing what he did was um, copy um, per pixel by pixel. No, he's doing okay there. Okay. Uh, he's not stepping on the mixing board yet. <laughs> <laughs> so he, it looks like he's copied <laughs> the uh, the animation from the other one okay. perfectly because it's the same number of um, uh, pixels as the other one. So it's totally doable. Oh. Um, so he's got probably the hardest part of the game going. 
Yeah, and then there's the is, action, which is the falling of the rubble. That's that right. So done. he's got the detection of the play field and the guy's animation. And his the, movement. The guy's yeah. movement, the guy's falling down, climbing up. Like, that's, that's a big cool. part of the game already yeah. done. So that is huge. So that's really exciting that he's already this far along. So he has let me know that I will get first... Uh, crack at that game so we can show it off on uh, the show. Excellent! So, which is very exciting. That is fun. Um, yeah, Money Fun. So the animation on the 2600 WIP is very well done. I totally agree. <laughs> <clears throat> He's done a perfect job of porting that over. So it's not going to be very different, really, from the, from the other two ports. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a great conversion. Um, coming up rapidly is the 2018 Atari Awards. Oh, yes. Because the, I forgot that's coming up. <laughs> yeah, the year is coming to a close. It is, very quickly. Um, and obviously, December 31st is the last day for somebody to, mm. you know, put out their game so that it's a poss possibly for inclusion into the Atari Awards. And in the new year, we are going to narrow down the field to, like, say, 10 or 15 mm. entries per category and then open up the voting... Mm. for everybody out there so yeah. it's it's uh players choice awards i guess cool. <laughs> not, not viewers choice but players well, choice viewers awards choice, yeah um so well, our viewers choice awards our viewers so everybody <laughs> everybody and we'll have the voting in um atari h forums who's also a sponsor mm -hmm. of the atari awards come on over here bad cat um yes it is right around the corner for the awards and uh, we're going to be doing a live broadcast of the Atari Awards when it comes up. Excellent. If you'd be my co-host. Yeah. No, I'd love to. Dress up for that. Ooh, yeah. Any excuse. And, uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of how it's going to look, but I'm thinking like a green screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can do a full background of what's going on. You Are you going to get kicked out? Mm -hmm. No. Be a good cat. Um... So, like, some of the categories are best work in progress for those are for those games that cool. are not done yet. Not completely done. Yeah. yeah. And for those that are done, um, there's, like, best hack, best demo, best graphics, mm -hmm. um, best programmer, best Atari Vox, best packaging, like, with uh, mm -hmm. labeling and boxes and, and stuff like that. And box art, that kind of thing? Box art. Like, yeah. just the whole encompassing cool. um, packaging. Or, you know... Free stuff. Little, I was gonna say yeah, I love little, the I love the froggy. Little things that get put into it, you know, those things. Um, Angry frog or what is what is he called? That guy? Oh I can't remember what his name is. Happy frog. <laughs> Grumpy Frog. Grumpy Frog. Grumpy Frog. Grumpy Frog. Um, like a Technical Achievement Award, Best Port Award. Okay. We're still figuring out which awards are gonna be given out. Okay. Um, because we're planning on making physical awards. Cool. And then shipping them off. And then shipping them off. Nice. And also uh, doing live video conferencing with the winners so they can give their acceptance speech or very cool. just a thank you or whatever yeah. they want to say. It'd be nice to meet some of you. So yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that would be very cool. Yeah. So um, that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Don't know the exact date mm -hmm. of when it would be, but we have to give enough time for voting and narrowing down the categories and everything like that. But first comes the cutoff, December 31st, 1159, 59, 59. <laughs> I love you have the seconds in there too. That's right, yeah. milliseconds. And then as soon as, as soon as it's the new year, yeah. it's the new year and nothing further counts. So mm -hmm. if somebody puts out a game, then it's a work in, like uh, if it's not done, it's a work in progress. But if it's like they say, this game is done, mm -hmm. then that's it. Okay, and so they... all your previous successes are wiped clean at that point. <laughs> and then that's we right. start working on 2019. That's correct. So if you put out the game in 2018, it's not eligible for 2019 yeah, fair enough. because you've put it out, right? Yeah. Um, so let's get on to the game. Mm -hmm. And tonight's game, we just have one tonight because we're going for high score. And I know it sometimes takes a little, a little while to get the high score. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be playing Juno first, which is part of the Homebrew Tournament 2018. Mm -hmm. Um, where they have a different game each month, and this month is Juno First, which is a very, very cool shooter that is a port of an arcade game. Okay. And is actually a really, really good port of the arcade game. 
Um, judging, I've never played it, played the arcade game. I don't think you've played this game, have you? No. Because the other two times. Else. No, I don't think I have. Played it with um, Corey. Okay. Um, and he beat me because <laughs> he's a very good uh, video game player. Game player. Yeah. Um, and a video game developer. And so. a video game developer. Yeah, so. Uh, so he uh, kicked my ass. But actually mm -hmm. didn't kick my ass. He beat me by a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I got a pretty good score. Good enough to get decent on the board. So, okay. Um, the score will be saved. The high score. Okay. Okay. So because it's saved in the Atari box. And this actually has voices. Which we'll hear this time. Nice. Because the Atari box was not plugged in properly. Last time? Yes. Mm. Uh, yes. One one nineteen. 12 a.m. starts the 2019 <laughs> Atari Award entries. That's right. And the 5959 cutoff. <laughs> so let's uh, open up the Juno first and pop this in. And we're not going to, we'll go through the, the scoring a little bit so mm -hmm. that we can maximize score and know how to get. Okay, the maximize, best amount. do the best we can. That's right. So, let's pop I'm always at a deficit because you seem to have always played these games and I'm playing it for the first time. Well, usually the tournament ones I have played before because we've cut, we would have covered them. Yeah, a little bit earlier in, on. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes not. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like with Seaweed Assault, we had not played you it played before. You played it for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. But that's pretty rare. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's get the score. Screen up first, make sure everything's running. Don't see it yet. Come on. Let's try that again. Uh, are you like? Why are you blue screening on me? That's okay. Is it a frame I start? No. It could be. But oh, what is happening? It's like showing nothing. For the TV uh, show are you too. Like like the Yeah. Why is the TV permanently blue? On or off? Uh, oh, are you like? Oh, Just the goodness. TV, I think. Yeah, it does look like the TV. Let me... Here we go. See what's going on here. Okay, it's on the wrong input now. Uh, oh, are you like? Hmm. Let me play with the remote control for a second. Bear with me. RGB. It's doing something a little different. Maybe it's the cartridge. I hope not. Uh, Let's pop in the harmony card again. Oh, it's terrible uh, noise. How are you calling? Cats, what have you been doing? I've been chewing all the cords. Oh, uh, oh. How are you calling? That's Better. Okay. Oh, we have signal. So let's go back to. Oh, it popped up. Yeah. Yep. It comes up there first. Oh. So I saw it there. Oh, right. it, it, it runs through that screen first. Yeah, the TV's uh, slower. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Did I have this trouble last time? The harmony card's working though. Yeah. Uh, how are you like? Yes, everybody, Atari box. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can put this on the Harmony card so that we can play it. There was one game that I did have trouble with. Do you think it was this one? It might have been this one. Let me try a couple more times, and then we will switch. Oh! There we go. Okay. Uh, Atari Just have to threaten it. Just have to threaten it. Okay. And for you guys, too much. Okay, see it's got my high scores. There we go. ZPH 59,200. Very nice. Who is Not above? Bad. Is that Corey? Yes, nice. that's Corey. Okay. So we'll let you go first. What am I doing? Shoot things? Shoot everything. And you have to pick up okay. the uh, little guys at the bottom, so the white guy. Yeah. Um, he will come out of the round blue sphere. Okay. If you shoot it, he's the enemy. Okay. But you're taking him. You're taking him. Capture. You're capturing him. Everything else, you pretty much one. And you can press forward to go towards the enemy. It's kind of a 3D effect. Oh, oh I see. Right. So pick up that guy. 
There you go, and you are, um, not invincible, but they can't shoot you during that red if you pick up a guy. There you go, you're almost done with one. Excellent. Mom? Yep, yep, she's all of them. All of them? Yep, they wrap her up. Yeah. So it's like you're on the planet. Oh, no. Whoa, don't go too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Getting crazy. Yeah, you're, you're kind of on a planet's surface when you're skimming along. Backwards. Oh, yeah, but don't, don't go too crazy with the backwards. Think you can run into people? Get that yes. ground thing. Oh. oh, that's invincibility. Oh. But it's still there. You can see it up at the top. Uh, there is <laughs> there is auto fire mode. You can hold it down. I think. There you go. Do you run out? Uh, no. Low. Why is my fuel low? That's a very good question. I think you run out just by taking too long on a level. Oh! Uh, da, 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 da. When the fuel feels at a constant rate, regardless, yes. You have 60 seconds of fuel to complete each way. So you have to get it done. You can't, you can't just lounge around, because it, it would make the game very easy if you're just like taking one at a time, shooting one guy. So shoot that, get the guy, and then you're invincible. You're not invincible, but they don't shoot you. I don't think it's a very good terminology for just they can't shoot you. I wouldn't call it really a paper space. Oh, oh. My God. Juno first is superb, one of the best shoot 'em ups in the 2600. Yeah. I completely agree. There's a lot of action going on on the screen. A lot of uh, guys at once, a lot of um a lot of uh, bullets going on. You've got the <laughs> Whoa, oh. going too fast. Whew. That was fun. 21100. That's a real fun You're game. a dum dum. You're a dum dum. Oh no! <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> so to Under get, the tenth. So to get on the board, wow. you have to get 22600. Oh, that's okay. I was pretty close. I think I'll get it next time. Ah. Wave 5? Oh! Wave five. Oh, that's not. Start at wave 5. I would like to start easy. <laughs> yeah. So I started wave what five Although at zero I suppose, points. I suppose you'll. I don't know. Are they worth more, or is there an advantage to that? No, there's an advantage. Uh, that is terrible. And I lost the hyperspace immediately. Mm. Just to practice. Oh, sure. It's always a practice game for the diary. That's right. How many waves are there? A lot. Yeah. I'm guessing the game goes on forever. There's probably more well, waves. It's, it's probably easier to come up with additional over. levels. You know? Yeah, it's you just move games. it faster. And, um, now all you have to do is worry about running. You know, like the Long enough to give you a good advantage. Mm. You do definitely want to take advantage of that guy, because... Yeah. Did I miss it? No, you thought of my thought. No. Didn't switch to hyperspace. Oh. Waste. What a waste. I must have just missed it. Pixel. Pixel. <laughs> yes, he fluffs up the Wi Fi all the time. Yeah, whenever right the Wi Fi here. stops working, he's right now. here, just slightly off camera, trying to, to mess up everything he does. Yeah. He gets blamed for anything that electronically goes wrong. Which really is his fault, but he can't uh, talk about it. Makes it easy. So it also eliminates any any bullets that could be. Oh, does it? I think. So. I mean, it makes sense. It kind of just turns off the bullets. Yeah. That gets a lot more intense. Yeah. And I believe yeah. soon there are guys that go towards you. Oh, like or bullets that go more towards you. 
you went down. I think you can't go too fast. After Maybe picking up the guy. Maybe you have to pause. Yeah, just go a little bit slower. Because technically you're picking time. up an alien, right? Yes. So you can't, you know, fly by him. Fly by him and like grab him from outside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Might be just attack him. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Probably because the uh, ship is going too fast to pick it up and Maybe. it's like in between pixels. Maybe you kill it. You want a metal bargaining chip. Oh, Damn it, one guy left. Oh. So, Lorena put his two keeping track of the things I see. Thank you very much. Once again, race against time, you got a lot of time to lollygag. <laughs> There's no lollygag. There's no lollygag. Oh, the bullets are coming towards me. Yeah. They're more direct to you. Kidding. Good. <laughs> All right, we're going to go Oh, well, you can do it while I uh, play my turn. Or cut well ahead of me as far as knowing how to play this game. Uh, it's just shoot everything. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid the shots and shoot everything. I think also getting getting um, a sense of the control of it scrolling forward and back too because yeah. it's easy to kind of go whoosh, you know. That like is a really big fast. part of it because in yeah. a lot of games you can't really control do that it. to avoid the bullets. It's, it's really kind of neat. I, uh, I, I like that, that idea that you're controlling the where field. you are. Yeah, and you're controlling where you are and you can move forward and back and you can move them off the screen if it's getting a little too crazy for you and yeah. you want to get past... Uh, 50, oh, third. So I didn't... Uh, Not quite yet. You're very Not close. Not bad. 53, 150. Yeah. Um, so let's open up. Okay, you can do that. Well, the yeah. package that I got. Ooh, packages. Not Atari 2600 or even retro-ish. Kind of retro -ish. <laughs> so, this is from, um... I'm playing your wave. This is, this is a way higher wave than oh, the last time I started. Oh, you want to restart? I think you have, <laughs> for it to count, you have to start at level one. That's okay. I, this is good practice, and then I'll start at level one. This is from Special Reserve Games. Um, it's a game called Enter the Gungeon. Which is like a dungeon crawling game. Kind of retro-ish looking because it's all pixely. Um, instead of a uh, sword, you actually have a gun in the dungeon fighting people. Pixel? What do you see in the loop? So. <laughs> well, you are on a very high level. Um, so it looked really cool, so I thought I'd pick it up. Uh, number number 1506. Oh, she's going to get it. Wow, that's super crazy! So let's see what the standings are right now. You should play on level one. Yeah, how do I get it to level one? Move the joystick. There, I go back down. So it just resets at the same level. There you go. Okay. Oof. Um, so Juno First uh, was made by Chris Walton, who is CBW. Yeah, it's okay. It's hard to speak for all that as well. So when I played it on the show on June 8th, that's when I uh, got that top score. It was 59-200, and I got to level 8. Um, but I have to get the score from this one, so I can't use that score for my all-time best score. So 53, 150 so far puts me in uh, fifth place, unfortunately. I do want to try and beat Thomas Yance's score, which is 62, 100. Um, so the top score, uh, who is in the chat right now, is Muddy Funster. Oh, nice. It's 200, 296,000 points. So pretty high, like six times as much as as the score that I've been getting. 
Um, so he's he's got some tactics, I think. <laughs> he knows what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, don't know if he's going to share. <laughs> but there's not much to it. Like if you, you pretty much have to shoot everything, right? And there's nothing less or more. Yeah, we got to get two more, two more, and you're dead. Uh, One last. And after Muddy Funster is Oyama family with 126,000, which is quite a bit less than Muddy Funster. Then Retro Goober with 98,000, and Thomas Gamp 62. And then below him is AGB with 49,800, and Impaler 26 with 47 to 50. Oh, the shot did not disappear. So all the shots do kill us in this one. Um, so, he hasn't added it up since game, since the last game with the Seaweed Assault. Um, but after round four, I was in fourth place. With Oyama family, family just ahead. So, so since Oyama family did well again this round, I'm definitely not going to move ahead of them. Say bye bye. Wait, one. Ah, Mighty Cluster did give a hit. Ah, so Tying in your spaceman pickups is key. That's the route to getting big scores. Uh. Oh, oh no, I missed him. him. You can't get back no, that's as far as I believe. Or not for the spaceman. So if you pick the spaceman up at the beginning of the round, that would be the best. Get higher score during uh, hyper space, or oh, you might, you might, you might, you might. Okay. Let me read about that. Based on the value of each alien you destroy. In a hyperspace, the aliens will stop firing, and the score for each alien that you shoot will increase. Ah, so the so more aliens, so the more aliens you kill in hyperspace, the higher your score. That makes sense. So you want to get him. Oh, oh, right into him. So you want to get the hyperspace as early as possible, and there it is. So I wouldn't kill those guys. I would kill the hyper. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't say how much extra you get for each alien, but it just says that you get more. Uh, an extra ship is earned for every 100,000 points. That is so stingy. That is unbelievably stingy. That is stingy. 100,000 points? There's only two people that have gotten 100,000 points in the tournament. So, and one person got... They only got two extra ships. But at least they're playing at a level that it works. And, uh, that's, uh, I just didn't think that's a little bit too deep, but maybe not. Can we go back to right now? No, it's already left, left around. Yeah. So, there's purple guys, which are a lot more points. There's two purple up at the top. Dude, oh, and you go. Did I get screen. rid of it? Yeah, you shot, shot it, and then you backed up. Uh, and it went off the screen. Oh, no. Oh, very good. Should we have scores like that? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, any other extra guys? <laughs> <laughs> There's too many. Too many. Uh, fuel. When the fuel becomes empty, your ship will be destroyed. Fuel is used at a constant rate, regardless of your ship movement. Uh, oh, nice. died on hyperspace. You're still going! Oh, I thought I was dead! Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Oh, that life. was my last... How do you know how many, how many lives you have left? You hold the button. Uh, it's on the bottom. Ah! Oh. That distracted me, unfortunately. <laughs> Thinking you were dead. 26-100. Oh. Oh. Oh, just on board. Now you're going to be 
making it annoying for it to put my name in. I'm too good now. So I have to switch it back well. to ZPH. Total cost of ownership. <laughs> That's what it stands for. <laughs> in one instance. In one instance. Uh, you can let it go. It comes back around before shooting the pod. The pod, yeah, but not the gun. Uh, mm -hmm. Once you've opened it, exactly. He's You're gone. Gonna have your pod. Yeah. No, I had to kick him out. Uh, he was just. He was probably going to try to go get that. Oh. 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 Just past the mark. That may just come up. There you go. Oh, what are you doing? Killing the guy, but he's not there. No. You have to shoot a few. I'll just kill until he comes on the screen. And then, and then stop. And then stop. stop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's probably a wave of these things that are coming. And then he'll come. Hmm. There's a cat flashing at the door. Yeah, of course it is. So, fast forward pretty good because they only shoot straight. Okay. You know, not shot, yeah, so it doesn't. I thought for a second. Yeah, it does give you a and if you notice, all the guys are in an order. Like they all come in a line. Yes, they do. Yeah, they're, they're definitely grouping in a way. Um, not anymore. You look at the top, you know, when, uh, where to shoot. That's the one. Higher levels. No, um, you don't get as much of a bonus. So it's, bonus. Yeah, so it's more for bonus rather than clear. Good job. Oh, you're doing a good job. Yeah. Why see that for the triangles? Triangles are fun. A little bit better now that I've got a bit of better understanding of, of, of the patterns. Very much. I don't think yeah, he's, thank uh, you, Muddy Funster. <laughs> and he's not too worried. He's way, way oh, yeah. past this. So <laughs> I don't think he's worried about me catching up to the score. No. this from last time. What? The... Too intense. My wrist. It's hurting. Oh, really? Yeah. You're just it's so intense. Yeah. Tensing up all the muscles. Uh, so I actually didn't do as well. But I had better tactics, I think, now. But I just made it like two really bad mistakes. Yeah, yeah. 
intro. Thank you, Muddy Parker, for that. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> You're running oh, away no. from it like like a cartoon character. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, goodness. Want to reset? No. Very crazy. It, it is. <laughs> well, especially with this controller, right? Like, yeah. it, it makes a lot of noise. Which is good and bad. It's nice to have that audio feedback that you know you're pressing the button. Info about this. I definitely scroll too fast. It's like I'm not used to quite at the point where. Yeah, both, three, all three people above me are still participating in this round, and they're all beating me. By quite a margin in this game, too. So I'm not going to increase in rank. I will pull away. I don't want to pull away because Thomas Yance is right below me. So as long as I get a little bit better score than him, I can maintain my, uh, my fourth place overall in the standings. But uh, Lid Lights and Television is not paid to his, his rankings because he hasn't paid them in two months. And uh, next next game is State Frosty 2. Smith. Okay. Yeah. We'll be doing playing some uh, holiday games throughout December. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not more uh, <laughs> chatty. This is the kind of game that you're just so focused on when you're playing. It's Definitely. Hard to... It's very intense. It is. It is intense. So this is, this was a 1983 Konami arcade game. Oh, yeah. The same game. Oh, yeah, that's um, the objective is very simple: destroy the aliens, capture enemy astronauts, and survive as long as possible. Uh, the score is based on the value of each alien that you destroy. <laughs> no, it's just sometimes they suddenly appear and you're like, ah, I'm gonna run out! A table of score values is shown at the game title screen. So 150 for the, for the uh, basic yellow ones that are on the screen right now. 300 for the blue ones. One more! One more! Well, that's a good way to wrap around and go back on this. A little dangerous. Yeah. It's green I can one Oh, they're all shapes. Oh my goodness. You're doing terrible. Automatically. You're doing terrible. Oh my goodness. Too far away. Uh, shooting an alien spear will release an astronaut. Plus 300. Oh, it adds up. Every guy you shoot adds more to the score. It doesn't double the value. It adds quite a bit. Uh, do, you know, do you know how to switch whisper? I suppose to say. I don't think that's how you switch whisper. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it. It looks like you're trying to switch whisper. Uh, little chat icon in the bottom. Uh, yeah, you can, you can uh, chat directly with people in Twitch if you don't want everybody else to see it. Um, switching to my iPad to PC. Probably a lot easier. Ooh, there's the... right. oh, I missed it. Oh, way too quick. I know, sometimes you just tap it a little bit too hard. Um, collect the astronaut before he leaves the screen to enter hyperspace and hyperspace the aliens will stop firing the score for the alien and shoot at him. Mm -hmm. shoot the alien for these. Uh, there is no one left. No one left. Incredible score. score! Incredible! Almost beat my top you score. Oh! Hey. 
stored forever on the Atari box. Oh, no, that's okay. What? I made a mistake. <laughs> but TPH. I'm number three. Woohoo! I'll take bronze. Very good. I will take bronze. Sorry, host, he's here. He is. Since he is here, I can help you on tire track. <laughs> oh, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna help uh, Muddy Funster on tire track? <laughs> tire tracks is pretty done. Okay. Now it's on. <laughs> technically, you beat me for 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 this for the what? for the um, this month. Because that score was before. You beat me today. For the high score. Oh, because you haven't done a high score challenge yet. Yeah. For the month. Ha, ha, ha. Well, let's we'll see. That was, uh, that was a big close to mine. Very good one. It is a fun one. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I didn't know And not it just because it sounds like I'm beating you, so. Well, you are beating me. But it does. <laughs> My enjoyment is directly. <laughs> really? Oh, your score is? How, how high my score happens to be, so. Why are you doing that? Whatever. And it appears, yeah, and, and it appears it's at the same spot. It you does. Can so you, them. You, you can kind of guess at where they're going to come up if you go backwards. It's hard to do when there are a lot on the playing field, but if there's only one or two left, sometimes it is easier to just back up. I agree. Especially when there's only one. And, and then when they, they appear, appear, it's like, ah! You don't know where they're going. Yeah, they just kind of pop up all over the place. <laughs> I know they should be even between waves. It should be like um, what was that game? Uh, the the back, uh, adventure based one where you zoom through each level. So it's like I guess you do have to dodge them to use it. Oh, you're talking about Tempest. Tempest, yes. Where oh, everything disappears. Yes. Yes. After the game. Yeah. yeah. After you're done that level. Like I did last time. Kill myself twice in a row and you It happens. It does. <laughs> Sometimes you get cornered, the bolts corner you and you're like, ah. Oh, oh no, it's still on there, it's still on there. Get it. Oh, oh, there you go. Get him. Yeah, well, you can. Uh, you can. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't sacrifice myself to get the guy. And yes. I stopped firing, I think, at the yeah. same time, which I I thought because you could kill him, but you can't. He's invincible. You never let up on him. I'm sorry about that. Way they're what? Going. Oh. The bullet was like right on top of me. But like I said, sometimes you're just cornered. Mm. I'm just gonna use TPH then. <laughs> <laughs> sure. T sure. Tanya Page Homebrew. <laughs> Tanya Page Homebrew. There, yeah, Arena Foot just did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you supposed to help me with debugging optimization on Tanya Page Homebrew? All the better. Yeah, I mean there is still some some bugs in it. The, the streaking, the streaky bug that I saw. I think I mentioned that too. Smacking the button. I like smacking the button. <laughs> Forty-two eight hundred. Oh, terrible! I just gotta be more careful. I'm doing really careless mistakes. It's not like I couldn't avoid dying in the spot that I got. But I was just. Okay. Oh, 
Whoa! Oh, that was getting out of hand. Very close. Very close. So is the tree going up tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow, no. Um, Sunday? Sunday. Oh, oh you missed out. No. Oh, no. bonus is say? Nice move. I don't know what that was in relation to. She did a nice move at some point. Like that. <laughs> The first wave that it throws you, they're all in order, so it's really easy. Really quick. This one too, it's a pattern. In the higher levels, it's like random spread. And the ability that, for this game to um, show that many enemies on the screen. Wow, just too fast. Crazy. Well, no, because I'm dodging too, and then oh. I kind of hit it a little bit too hard sometimes. <laughs> good, and good use of sparse voices as well. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's Wait, the bass. Hello, first. Uh, no, when you start the game, I think. Oh, you're getting all out of control. No, again. I just kind of oh, yeah. 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 Whoa, where'd that shot come from? Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> all over the place now. Alright. Yeah, see? It's crazy. <laughs> yep. I 
Is that a hand sore? Are you pressing the button? No, because it's holding it so intensely. Uh, you know. That's where it says. Right, you know first. Oh, I ran into it. I guess the thing is to run into it. I'm guessing you do. The hyperspace snow doesn't continue. Probably the only time. Well, unless you time it up. Hearing one. What? Oh, you went past him. Yes. You just want to touch past him. Yeah. It's okay. There's plenty of opportunities there. That one gets too hard. Yeah. That's good practice. So, theoretically, I should be able to survive all those ways. Right? I don't think I've ever made a so you have to be careful if you start moving back when you bypass a bunch of things. First it resets, of course, after you die. Yeah. It's not going to reward you for dying. No, unfortunately. Some games give you a bonus, you know, to help you through the tough ones. What? Uh, uh, no, um, <laughs> Corey suggested, because I like RPGs, to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, and it's a wonderful game. It's a really good open world game. Um, kind of a good, good storyline in it, and, um, yeah, it's, it's been a really, really awesome game. A twist on the RPG. It, it's an RPG. World. It's sort of like a weird future. Past. future yeah. Post apocalyptic. Post apocalyptic, but a world that has both technology and is also very primitive at the same time. Because being post apocalyptic, in some ways, certain certain parts of civilization have sort of reversed. Yeah, humans um, have reverted, and technology, the soldiers on without them in the form of robot dinosaurs. Yes, robot dinosaurs or AI, like robot AI that, you know... Take the form of dinosaurs for some the earth, reason. Roam the earth like wild animals, if that makes sense. That's the best way to describe it. They don't all look like animals. Some of them are right. insane. Some you have look a like you haven't looked at them all. Well, you some do, but they all have different life. functions. And then there's some that are just like crazy monsters. Probably so, their reasoning behind really picking dinosaurs is like, oh well, they. It's not dinosaurs. Six. They don't look like dinosaurs. They look mm. like existing mammals because mm. there's some that look like that look like grazing deer. There's some that oh, look yeah. like that look like horses. There's some that look like. So I wouldn't say dinosaurs is is, is the visual kind of okay. thing you're going for. I think that's the hook anyway, like, to get you in, but like, yes, some of them do. Sort of. Yeah. Anyway, enjoying it a lot. Um, really good gameplay, kind of an interesting twist on the sort of desert RPG fantasy, fantasy world, yeah. Um, <laughs> How far along are you? Uh, Pretty far? Are you on the main quest or do you stray yeah, off? I stray off. I mean, I try to follow the main quest and I try to go back and forth because sometimes you lose side quests if you get too far into the main quest and, and sometimes the side quests you can't go back and do, so you uh, kind of have to try. I always make sure I'm trying to do a little bit of both. It's always disappointing if you progress too far in the main quest and suddenly your side quests get turfed. <laughs> um, I ha that hasn't happened to me so far, but I'm always worried about that with RPG games. I think I'm a so. I don't know, you're... you're oh, that's what kills me in a way date, I think, is the homing missiles. The homing missiles? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh! oh, one more! You've got one more! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going. Mm. Oh, I die. 
critical dudes. They're terrible. Sometimes it's better not to progress forward. Going backwards <laughs> if you know they're far away. Get a guy to try to time it. Oh, no, no, you're getting them. The, the, the purple guys are really very random. Fast. Like they're super random, and they 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 go after you. And more green guys. I know. Oh, Damn it! You got 60! Woo! You beat Finally. your high score! It's not good enough, though. Good I job. don't think. Oops. What are we, what's the score I have to beat? Yeah. Why don't you play another round? No, are you okay? No, I, oh, okay. I have to take a break each time. Okay. Are you leaving? No, I just... Wine? I need... No, no, actually. <laughs> 60. 62, oh, 100. That's what I need to beat. So I'm almost there. How many people out there have played this game or own this game? I know the Mighty Constable has obviously played it because you beating me <laughs> in the scores quite handily. Retro Happy Hour. Has played. Oh, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, this is. Is there a better shooter? Better homebrew shooter than this? I don't, I don't think. I don't think I can name a better shooter. Than this. You know, like a vertical shooter. Ah! I mean, oh, the I lost um, him. for horizontal, it's, it's definitely. Um, Scramble, but scramble and um, what's it called? Oh, I the other one's name. Terrible. Super Cobra Arcade. Yeah, Super Cobra Arcade is definitely like the top in horizontal shooters. Um, for vertical shooters, I think this is, this is the top for sure. Um, of Homebrew. Oh, homebrew. Um, Marina Flex says I played it, I was supposed to own it. Rest your happy power says world. War War 1. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just counting homebrew. Just homebrew. That's all we do. Here's the homebrew. Can't talk about the other no. shooters. No! <laughs> yeah, no, we can talk about the other ones. We just don't play them. If there are other, if there are other sort of um, original age of that uh, you're quite I'm so familiar with Homebrew now. <laughs> I <Yeah>. like, <laughs> barely play the old games. It's so funny. I think there's a meme writer and I'm like, mm -hmm. Oh, see, I'm no. I have not had a good round of catching the astronaut. No. I've missed him almost every single time. I don't think my score is going to be so good. This time. Just post my high score at 70. Five, four hundred. No! Oh, no! What is it? Seventy-five? Oh. Retro happy hour. Uh, it was Jay Ron on television. Yes. Just posted his score. Oh, no. No, I'm way down. Good job, though. So he's currently in uh, fourth place, which knocks Thomas Yentz in the fifth place, which knocks me in the sixth place. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Where am I? Um, <laughs> Probably for me. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think you could uh, get, some, get some good scores. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big point. Not been my Not big point. Add? Is it like 100, then it adds 200 to your score, and then it adds 300 on top? That is huge multipliers. That is probably where all the, all the points come from. Oh, I don't <laughs> like these sh shots! Oh. I'm moving too fast now. Ah, this is so bad. Oh, no, that 36, was bad. 700. Okay. Give that back to you. After run out briefly, maybe I will talk about it. Okay. okay. That was my point. So I'll yeah. Look at that. Oh, there's an Atari. No, 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 no. Just close the door. No Ataris? Oh, too Okay. Late. Kind of an Atari. Come here. Come here. Come on, Atari. Come on. Show everybody your grayness. Come on. No, he's concerned about the door being closed now. 
And I noticed, Jay Ryan, you have participated in other. There we go. Sorry. Um, other earlier tournament rounds. You are on the board. There you go. So, I got 600 bonus, which is very good. For such an early level. Wasting time. It's only the second level, so get plenty of time. Should have gone backwards. There we go. Extra 400, not great. Good nothing. Oh, well I do. Here. Stroll, I guess, if the spaceman's in. Whoa, 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 Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. It doesn't give you much time to rack up for I mean, big bonus. It's supposed to be easy. Yeah, cats and doors. They don't want the, they don't want to come in. They just want the door open. So Atari's just, like, standing at the door. Looking for a baby. Oh, yeah. Kind of about like cats and doors. Oh, yeah. Cats don't, just... cats don't want to be in the room. They just want the door open. Yeah. Come here, baby. Oh, he's at 26. Come on. Oh, Get over there. Alright, we're spacing up. Here we go. Get him. Oh, he's purring. Oh. Oh. Not too hard to get that little. Hi! We love that. Oh, everyone! So sweet. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah. He's just, easy to please. He's very easy to please. And he's always happy. With most cats, that is not the case. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 the world. Yeah. Oh, Put watch in there. 800. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> oh! Oh! We, that was just at the end of the level? Yeah. Well, end of the... The wave? The wave that it was coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so lucky. <laughs> that was a waste of my life so early. Oh! The chick just fucking... Damn it! Oh! No. oh. Terrible. Too fast. I am. I'm you're like, you're getting all erratic. It's like you're the one who's been drifting away, not me. <laughs> I'm wave eight. Seems like wave eight. Purple yeah. guys all over the place. Okay. Shooting the homing missiles. Oh. 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 Are you going again? You okay? You can do that? Your hands okay? Oh, uh, you've got a count. He kind bit of. me in the face, though. Okay. Okay. Mike Funster. Yes. We'll see you on Wednesday. Enjoy your Wednesday. Friday and your Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Why do I stop shooting during that time? It's it's your brain takes over. You're like a boy. Get him, get him, don't shoot. Yeah, you can't shoot up here. Oh, baby. No. What is no, going on? No, 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 no. <laughs> I think you're a little you're a little tired. Mm. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Come here. Come, what are you doing standing? It's very unusual for see those lines, black lines at the top left of the screen. It's very unusual for a homebrew to leave those in. Oh, it's because you're on hyperspace. 
It's the only time they appear. That's yes. why. They probably thought, nah, it's not worth trying to blank those out. Do something different for hyperspace just to get rid of the H-move lines. Mm. That's the H-move line? It is... Well. But it is a command that you issue to the Atari 2600 um, for placement of the player on the screen. Okay. Um, so if you see a line, it will usually, of course, don't record that terrible score. I, <laughs> I gave up on that one. He put ha ha at the end. It was terrible. Um, but unfortunately, it's like a bug in the system that puts a black line on the left-hand side. And I believe the H move is like, I'm done uh, with this line, just wait till the end. It, until an H blank, which is a horizontal, something like that, and it moves to the next line automatically. Okay. Yeah, wait for an H move. Um, and then start listening to like the plug in the 2600 lines. There's a ton of lines at the top. Yes, I do. Because there's a ton of guys at the top. And I believe that can be avoided with um, exact cycle counting mm. of each line so that you use up, so you don't have to end up to shoot each move. I didn't mean to do that. You have to count right to the end the exact number of cycles the CPU has left to draw. Probably not paying attention to anything you're saying. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to remember my programming information that I've never used in the 2016. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe we should put which wave you're on. Yeah, it would be nice if some... it was if it was visible. Yeah, in some so form. Know... There's a better room at the bottom. But yeah, they go by so quickly you don't really have anything. That's a pretty good one. I, I did pretty well. Exact cycle right, so I did get it right. Um, Activision, co Activision covers it completely in all games. Yeah, that was part of their like, programming bible. You can never ever show those H move lines, but they are ugly. They look like mistakes. Uh, even though they're mostly covered up in on CRTs, but they're not completely covered up. So. No, but they're behind me. Oh. Good job, though. <sighs> no, that wasn't very good. 51, it did really well in the beginning, but then it kind of put it as Oh, T. what did you say? Exact it. cycle right and Activision no. covers it complete. Oh, the what? computer. Oh, I don't know. 51, you got 7. That's okay. Nobody's past level 8. It is a big step up yeah. in difficulty. Level eight. Because There's just so many of them. Uh, it's the homing missiles. Oh, yeah, but and then, the numbers. But you know what? Also, I was rushing to get the astronaut, and then you like, then, then you put yourself in a bad position where you can't backtrack because there's so many of them mm, behind you. They keep appearing. And and no, they don't keep appearing. You're going forward to get the astronaut, and then you're oh. leaving so many behind you. It puts you in. Oh, a, oh. what? Start over. Press the reset, please. <laughs> Wasting my time. Oh. Miss Pac Man needed to hold 40 clay field blocks. Those lines are there. Oh, I guess they're there. Get him! Yeah. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Not in hyperspace. Oh, you did. Maybe, but it's still red. You would have put up the. Uh, it was on the last second of the game. Yeah, Whoa, but you see you can't go backwards. If you, if you yeah. suddenly shoot past them, going backwards is very dangerous. Yeah. 
And unfortunately, the purple guys, the green guys always move forward, and the purple guys will come backwards. What? Like move backwards? Yes. They'll move up the screen, so you have to be very careful with those guys. That's why I think Wade Davis is quite mm. challenging. Because there are a lot of the purple ones around, and they will kind of move backwards towards you. They don't, not, they only not just, they not just shoot permanently, but they move. Yes, so if you suddenly stop and don't move backwards, they can actually move back to try and get you. Seventy-five thousand four hundred. <laughs> so now. Oh, that's the next one. Mm -hmm. 
because Retro Goop are above him is 98, which is like way, way above. So I definitely have to keep level 8. I'm pretty sure after we keep level 8, we get past uh, Retro Half Goop. I'm gonna have four cats staring at the door. Why is this door closed? Aww. I want this door open. What's the gun? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so far off. I know. Yeah, I think we got them. Yeah, we got them all. Yeah. 
Because we never want to take a five, so. Pushing forward. I hate it when you get the astronaut and then they bring a whole massive wave of them in. Going again. <laughs> it's okay. I, I can't. My hand's a little sore, so. Today, but when you're only playing one game, yeah. it, it makes it a little, uh, less... Get the high I know, <laughs> and we're so quiet and intense while we're playing, too. Oh! Oh, oh the oh. anger! The cat anger. Oh. <laughs> Thousand points. Oh. It does. Oh. I think you're getting frustrated now. You're getting frustrated. <sighs> no, I don't. Oh, it does come eventually. Very interesting, and you lost it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, too much tactics, not enough shooting. Yeah, I think so. Too far off the screen. Have to make, have to make 
to make a quick move. survey pool and I'm like an hour away from the show and I'm like, I can't remember. Can't think of one. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. I just have to not die this early on. And then you just rocketed yeah, forward, and I, I think it just went too fast. It skipped over it. Yeah, it does happen. Because the um, 2600 has a really, really good collision detector built into it. Oh my oh. gosh, again! You, you're it's so close! But it's so close, you know what I mean? Like... Um, yeah, the collision detector is really good in the 2600. If you touch them by a pixel, counts. Um, but the bad thing is that if you go too fast and if you're not in the same position as him, like if you move eight sprites and he's eight sprites high in one frame, you'll, you'll go right past him and there will be no collision detection. And that's what happens sometimes in games when things move too fast. But it also could be in your favor that you can move fast and forth. Oh, it's only one. Oh, See, man, it's, 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 again. it's more about the movement. If, you, if you're hitting yes. it a little too fast, it will not pick it up regardless. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just I think that's too jumpy right now. I think you might be on the side. Like, you can't go fast. You can't go fast. You even if you very touch slow. Them. Yeah, so, it takes into account your speed. Like, my score can be terrible because yeah. I haven't done any just time. Twice. I'm too jumpy. My hands are a little slow, so. Oh. 
Charlie's not too bad. Yeah. Scratches. We've been doing a uh, John Carpenter movie marathon. Yes, we have. And we're on day four tomorrow. Uh, we're we'll be playing every single TV show and movie that he's ever directed. Um, so far, we've had three days, about close to, I'd say, 20 hours. Yes. 20 hours of Carpenter films. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot, it's a mixed bag. It is definitely. Oh, you barely got that. I know. Um, some really good films, which is why I chose to, to do John Carpenter, um, like They Live and The Thing, and Big Trouble in Little China. Um, Christine was pretty good. I like Christine yep. a lot, actually. I thought it was a pretty good film. And um, there, there's no horrible films. Did you say there's a horrible, terrible boring film? Oh! What? Happened I was I was there? kinda of paying attention to you, so oh, no. that's okay, my hand's sore. Yeah. You lose! You lose! <laughs> you lose. <laughs> no film convention or film awards in New Orleans anytime next year. No, sorry. <laughs> I haven't entered the film into anything in New Orleans. Your film? Yeah. Um no. So, I'll keep my eyes open for one. <laughs> no, because it, it also, I would have to reset. <laughs> I would also have to go there, too. Oh, for New Orleans. Uh, yeah, yeah, for film awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just be entered into it. Yeah. And we've spent a lot of money traveling yeah. uh, to... Although, I have to say, New Orleans is one place I have not been in a way. Oh, reset. That's not how oh. you know. I'm close. <laughs> He's kind of bugging me. Yes? Yeah. Okay. What? Oh. That was close. That was close. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you should get all of those in a way of one. I can put you in the character. A way of one. Yeah, and possibly a way of two. It just appears. Sometimes they don't appear at a certain the, point. Sometimes they come on the horizon. But I do feel like they, you do have to kill a certain number of them before they really show up. So. Um, no. Because no? in the first level I just keep running. I think it's distance almost. Mm. Rather than the number of kills. Maybe. Because you could loop without killing anything in the first level and it'll come. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Careful. Careful with your backwards scrolling. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get as many as possible. I mean, you do want to do that, but you want to be very careful. Oh, my Once the bullets go off the screen, they stay off the screen. Yes, and I agree that is very unfair. Having to memorize where the bullets go. Whoa! Just fired off. Whoa! Okay. I'm pretty good on the hyperspace. Says y'all need to come down anyway. <laughs> y'all. Yeah. No, it's definitely definitely place I want to go to. Really? Probably by now it's fine for food. Well, you're you would definitely run some issues in Louisiana, I think, but yeah. uh,
on that fuel notice. Um, fuel. fuel, fuel. I actually feel like they should work it into the um, like like your auto system uh, when your fuel is low. It should just say fuel, and then and then you would never miss refueling your car because <laughs> it's so urgent. Fuel, fuel. <laughs> A lot of them do ding, but only once. Only once. But if it actually did that, every time you feel about it, did I shoot low? it and it died? Did I didn't oh, pick up the thing and it's gone? Maybe it swelled off. No, it would come back to that. It never goes away completely. No, they're a little guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put that as it's been your since we're Yeah, ready to be uh, destroyed again. Yeah. Yeah. All those cities in the south. With the, the low... It's just so sad. Every couple of years, the all just get just destroyed. Yeah. And then they rebuild, and then they're destroyed, and they rebuild. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you know, people love living there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to keep building. Yeah. No matter what. I guess the property value just keeps going down. Whoa, what the heck? Property values go low enough that people are like, well, it's cheap enough. I know where it's going to get destroyed eventually, but... Ah! Uh, had to back up because of bullets! Oh, that was crazy. Oh, lies. These bullets, I hate them so much. Pretty much like go all the way to the left of the screen, all the way to the right of the screen. Never one of those homing. Did I shoot it? No. I don't think. I'm very, very happy with my 59 or whatever it was that I got. So I uh, was 2,000 away from getting third place. Hey, you're still, you could still try. 98? Yeah. Oh, who got 296? Muddy Funster. Muddy Funster. Wow. That is really impressive. Like wow. You're <laughs> trying to try again. <laughs> I was really, really, really close. Like, a couple of kills, uh, 2,000 away. I killed it! And it disappeared. Yes, it did. Oh, come on. Yep. Break that off pedals. Oh, no, no, no good. <laughs> Uh, the speed 
running. What happened? We went away again. I think I, uh, I think I accidentally killed it. Just wave line. You're not gonna know Do you get the exact same amount of money? Yeah. The bonus? Yeah. Same. Hundred plus two hundred plus three hundred plus two hundred. Exactly the same. There's not as many bad guys. No, so it's harder. It's potentially. Yeah. yeah. Higher scores. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Send you the wave, not just the power. Oh, there it is. Again. Again, again, again. Thank you, Matt. 
<laughs> oh, poor cat. Bonus points! Yep, 96600. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna feeling have to... the pain in my hands oh, too, man. so. Oh. Oh, really, really fun game though. Yeah, I love really fun. that game. It feels so arcadey too. Like you could be standing in an arcade playing that game. I mean, technically, it was an arcade game. 1983. It? Oh, it's yep. based off of a. Never seen it in the arcade yeah. or at any of the retro conventions though. So there it is, 96600. That's what I'm gonna be entering in. Thanks, I just think so. Well, James is. Third, Mine fourth was... place, I think. Yeah. Fourth. Yeah. yeah. Solid fourth. A solid fourth. Yes. Very solid fourth. Yeah. Almost third, but very solid fourth, which is nice. I don't like to be just better than the next person because you know they can just play a couple more games and probably get featured. Yeah. Yeah. We had a retro video game night recently. Yes. And we played dub what was it? Devil's Ho Devil's Hollow? Devil's Hollow. <laughs> Satan's, Satan's Hollow. Hollow, yes. Um and we had a little, you know, friendly tournament with our friends. Um but uh, I just wanna say I, I didn't qualify for our little tournament, but I did get the high score. So Yes, yeah, we're exempt. We are of unfortunately course, exempt. Because we host it. Um hearing that, Lid Lights and Television. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> He's the guy who uh who does the homebrew tournament, and he's number one in every game. Oh, well. Except for one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I believe Juno first appeared on Starcade. Oh, very cool. I never actually saw that show back in the day, mm. where they had people people playing each other, like kids. Oh, yeah, they'd yeah. Like, they would play one game up to a certain point, yeah. and move on to the next oh, game. Oh, I, I, uh... And move on to the next game after they hit, after they hit a certain point, and the first person to finish... Wins was the Starcade thing. like off a Nintendo era of games or was Arcade. it something else? Arcade. Arcade. Because I, I do remember watching a show like that, but it was Nintendo games. So it was probably yeah, in a similar that was later. vein of 
what Starcade was. I know which. But one they would have to get to a point and then switch and then switch. Yeah. And, yeah. and they sometimes yeah, won the arcade game, like the stand-up arcade game. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a pretty good prize. That uh -huh. is a good prize. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Like I said, we're going to be playing some holiday-themed games mm -hmm. with at least one each day. And we're probably going to ramp mm -hmm. down to just Wednesdays, but we're going to do Wednesday and Friday next week. Oh, I see, For right, as we approach the holidays. Yeah, because it's just too much going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just too busy. Um, but we're going to do Wednesday and Friday next week. And then I okay. think it gets, it's going to switch to two Wednesdays. Yeah. And then the Friday at the end of the month, because Wednesday is on um, Boxing, Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Uh, um, you people in the U.S. don't know what Boxing Day is. <laughs> well, they like, know what Boxing Day is. They don't. It's like our Black Friday, but it's, it has terrible timing. <laughs> well, it's after, the, after Christmas. But here's the thing. So Black Friday, they have all kinds of sales, and they do them now in Canada. They never used to before. Yeah, Black Friday's everywhere. But now. I do find you get better deals on Boxing Day, because I yes. actually think Boxing yes. Day represents the stores actually clearing out what they couldn't sell over the holidays. You get much better deals. You actually get much better deals. Because they're like, we, I, we bought too much this for yeah Christmas. so we're gonna just mark it all down and boof it's gonna we have to get rid of it yeah, yeah. whereas black friday is more like let's just have some sales so people can buy them for christmas so yeah. you can get really good deals but oh, we yeah. don't really buy too much no. i bought the odd thing usually if i have something like some electronic good that i want to buy um and it's not something I want for Christmas, or it's a little bit more expensive. I wouldn't expect someone to get it for Maybe. me. Then I have I will Boxing keep Day. keep an eye on on it on, for Boxing Day, like after Christmas, to see if they clear like they clear it out. So, yeah. but uh, anyway. So next uh, Wednesday or yeah. Wednesday, yeah. we're going to be doing a well. Uh, 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 Mister Fix, he thought it was the day everyone put gloves on. Could happen. Yeah, yeah, they fight over what's left over in the oh. stores. Oh. I can't remember what the tradition of it is. The tradition no, is something about boxing up and, and, and uh, taking giving, it back to uh, the no, stores, no, no, giving it to charity or something uh, like that. Okay. I think that's what the actual tradition of Boxing Day is, but that clearly is not what it means now. So, no. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be comparing all the homebrew Pac-Man games uh, next Wednesday. Uh, Pac-Man Eat and Run, Pac-Man 8K, Pac-Man 4K, uh, the other Pac-Man 4K. Uh, wow. Uh, another Pac-Man 8K. Um, I think there's a couple more as well. Wow, that's uh, a lot of Pac-Mans. Yeah, and there's some hacks, some uh, Pac-Man hacks that are so far removed from the original game, they're pretty much their own game, so okay. I am counting those. Okay. Um, and we're also going to be playing Stella's Stocking as well, which I believe has the first Stay Frosty in it, and a bunch of other... Okay. A bunch of other uh, holiday games. Cool. And then on Friday with you, we're going to be playing Atari Age Holiday Greetings 2014. On Friday? Yes. Okay. Um, so that has a bunch of uh, holiday... It's like a, a medley of small holiday Christmas themed games. Okay. Plus some other stuff that I don't know yet. And then we switch to... The Wednesday, the Wednesday, and then the following Friday, leading up to the end of the year. Okay. And then. And that's a t the Atari Award. No, the Atari no, Awards no. will be in January. Yes. Okay. Um, no, I don't know yet. Probably not. Probably February. Okay. Or, a little or like bit later. The first of March. Okay. Because well, first. Will we, we compete with the Oscars on TV? Is that the idea? Uh, it might coincide, <laughs> but we're not going to compete with the Oscars because that would be very foolish. <laughs> people watch the Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. No, they do. So. Um, so we're going to go through the the nominated games for the Atari Awards and play mm. through those, mm. which is going to be fun because those I are like kind, kind of the best games. Nice. I'm sure we have played all of them or at most of point, them yeah, 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 at yeah. some point in 2018 because yeah. I try and cover all the new games mm. that come out. Um, and we're also going to, I've ordered the trackball hacks, mm -hmm. um, so I'll bust out the trackball. Okay. And, and we'll play a bunch of trackball games okay, in the new cool. year I'm at some point to that. when yeah. I get them. Yay, um, and then, of course, um, Dan Kitchen's hmm? new game at some point, Gold Rush. That sounds really fun. Yes. And he just sent me his intro screen okay. for his games, like his title screen. Okay. It's very, very cool. 
Mm -hmm. um, can't show it to you yet, unfortunately. But when he says go, I can show it to you. <laughs> um, and then his second game as well, as he starts leaking that out, mm -hmm. his Bon Voyage as well. Uh, we need to look at how the version stands on his own and how the version compares to the arcade. Yes, yes. definitely. So yeah. we'll be looking at the arcade version. Yeah, because some Pac-Man versions are terrible. <laughs> yes. Some are very good, but some and of are course, really bad. We will look at the Atari 2600 Pac-Man as well. Yes. That came out, and it's kind of its own thing. Um, and I'll have to learn a bit about Pac-Man and the patterns of the ghosts. Because each ghost has a very specific pattern. Well, the people who, who break those world records... Yeah, they know them really they well. They exploit. <laughs> they exploit the movements. Yeah, they get them. So following. they can get them. They get them every every pellet. They get all four every single time, right? Like that's how you get every the power pellet. Every yeah. power pellet. I mean, because yeah. they get them yeah. um, following them, like mm -hmm. exactly all four of them following right to the power pellet, and then turn around to eat all four and go boom, boom, for boom, boom, boom. every single level. Yeah. And they get every cherry. Yeah. Or every. Bonus. Every bonus. I can't remember what it is in Pac-Man, but Miss Pac-Man, there's cherries and strawberries. Cherries, and... strawberries, peaches. Yes, waka waka waka. <laughs> waka 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 <laughs> um, Did you ever hear that that thing? is like, oh, if your ear's wet, you just go like this and it sounds like Pac-Man? No, I've never heard <laughs> yes. that. It's waka 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 It's very silly. That is very silly. <laughs> but I'll save all this amazing trivia. <laughs> For All next your Wednesday dad jokes show. for next Wednesday. <laughs> My cat dad jokes. Cat yeah. dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, sometime in late February, sometime in March, we'll be doing the Atari Awards. Which yes. Will be lots of fun. Yes. We'll be doing awesome little videos in behind us. Mm. You know, showing who the winner is, all the nominees, yes. just like the Oscars. Yes. Yeah. Little snippets of the gameplay. It'll be lots of fun. Oh, I, I can see you're getting excited just to figure out how to display how to make that it look nice, yeah. on the live stream. Yeah, yeah. good stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, and like I said, we're going to be Skyping or you know whatever program with all mm -hmm. the people um, mm -hmm. the, that win the awards. Mm -hmm. That'll be lots of fun. So Excellent. stay tuned for when that date will be, and mm -hmm. we'll be finalizing that pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing we have to make sure there's enough time to solidify the nominations and then enough time for you guys to vote on what you like um, for 2018 what you thought the best games were um, so it's all up to you for to see who you <laughs> like the best not us yeah. um, because that's that's the best way it's um, audience awards all the people who play the games who are in the forums and you know follow along with everything Mr. Fix will be here next Wednesday to waka waka waka. Yeah. Of course, I'm waka, saying it waka, like Fozzie Bear. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> <sighs> cool. uh, yeah, and even uh, some work in progress um, Pac Man games, like mm. Super Pac Man. There's a work in progress that is very impressive, but stopped development a little while ago. But we'll take a look at that, and uh, hopefully, that person will be encouraged to keep going on that one. And uh, so that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed us uh, trying to get high scores on Juno first. I know we enjoyed playing it. I did. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. It is. It is a great game. It, it is, is a great game to play. And uh, if you're not taking part in the high score, which is chase, I say why not? Over in a couple hours. Why not? Oh, is it really? <laughs> it's the last day of the year. Oh, that's true. Last day of the month. The last day of the month. Is that's it? right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jeez. My I always, I always leave it. Went fast. I always leave it for the last because I want to know all the high scores, and so I have something to shoot it. for. I mean, I'm only going to do as yeah. as good as I do. But. Oh no, retro happy hour! No, one four one one hundred and fourteen. He was ahead of you. Was he ahead of you? And then I beat him. And then you beat him. Now he beat you. Oh, oh thanks a that's lot. Okay. <laughs> uh, Boom! <laughs> no, good job. There's no prizes or anything. No, it's um, just for that. It's just for fun. Yeah. Good job. Good job. It yeah. is a tough game. It is a fun game. But actually, after you get past level eight, it is easier Does it for actually a little get while. a bit easier? Yeah. For level a couple levels. It's challenging. It's really long. Mm. It's just so much stuff. 
Um, but level 9, 10, 11, no yeah. problem. We highly encourage you playing along with us, by the way. Yes. I think that's a really nice way to uh, take part in the show and then actually like play the game. And get some hints. Yeah. I mean, we got some hints from Muddy Funster and yeah, passed and, it on to everyone else. Yeah, and uh, you know, there, there's something kind of fun about doing that, especially since we tend to do it right at the end of the of the, yes. of the tournament. So, yeah. you know, if you played earlier, you can you can uh, sneak one in. Sneak an extra, <laughs> an extra right attempt at in right at the end. So, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Good job. I'm still, I, I can still maintain my fourth place. Yeah. Overall. No, I, and yeah. I don't know where I, think I am. I'm like sixth. Or like twenty fifth or something. I don't know. What was your highest? Uh, I don't even. Remember. Oh, we can turn it on and see it. But it uh, was like sixty eight. Did you crack sixty nine? No, I don't. Think no. I did. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I can't. No, maybe I did. I, I can't remember. Anyway, that's so what okay. did you? I'm all right with let's it. see what you placed. <laughs> I'm all right with it. Um, so you would have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh place. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And then AGB and then Impaler 26. So it was Muddy Funster, the the Yama Family, Retro Goober, Thomas, mm -hmm. oh no, 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 no. Muddy Funster, Yama Family, then Retro Happy Hour, then Retro Goober, then me. Unless any of those people get? were playing along with us and yeah. beat you, but yes. Yeah. So I got fifth, actually. Then Thomas Jens, then you. Then, then, then the AGB, couple? then Impaler 26. Nice. So, yeah. Good stuff. Lots of fun. Yeah, that is fun. Um, so next month, at the end of the month, we will be playing. Well, I don't know who will be playing, but somebody will be playing with me, um, Stay Frosty 2, which is very challenging. And mm. one, one level I got up to, I can't pass. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be the key. Yeah, that's when we need everyone to provide feedback and, and, <laughs> to figure and, out that and last level. tips to get through that last level. Yeah. yeah so cool. tune in. Uh, we're out of here. Tune in next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Yes. for myself and Erilyn mm. um, playing some more uh, homebrew games. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's about it. Um, obviously, we only played one game, and it's awesome, so that's our review. Uh, highly recommended if you're it is really fun at all inclined to like shooters it's probably the best shooter one of the best shooters yeah I can't say the best because there's you know different what? ones it, it has that real arcade yes. arcade kind of game feel where it's relentless and, and it just keeps going and gets harder and harder and it's it's addictive and you just want to keep playing it and you play until yeah. basically your fingers feel like they have arthritis so and, um and it's pretty it's, amazing it's that it, it does really keep your attention even though it's kind of the same thing well even when you start over, over you kind of get in a zone and, yeah. and you just push you have through, to get in so, a zone yeah. actually i really like it because cool. some games like that where it's like no you just keep shooting things it gets boring but this one doesn't, for some reason. Well, it ramps up, I think, in intensity really, really quick. So, like, one yeah. and two are easy, and then by three, you're already feeling like there's a challenge there. Yeah. And I think that's the key to those kinds of games, is you have to feel like it's not too easy, yeah. like, really early. You have to get past those those easy levels quick. and Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, so that's it. Um, we'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Retro Happy Hour, Arena Foot, Mr. Fix, Ice Post, uh... Uh, Muddy Funster, uh, Ground, Trooper. Ground Trooper, jumped in there for a second. Wade Rain was in there too. Oh, and here I am at the end. <laughs> yeah. Wade Rain. Yeah. Uh, who Lots else? Of Mr. Fix. Uh, uh, that's, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Did I say Arena Foot? Probably. Yeah, I think that's about it. If we missed anyone, sorry about that. And the Real Lobber. Yeah. Woo! Hi. Real Lobber? Real lobber. Real lobber. <laughs> Good name. Yeah. First time I've seen you here. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for hanging out yeah. with us and hope to see you again and uh, see everybody next Wednesday. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Thanks, you, Retro Happy Hour. Bye bye. Bye.